Hi YouTube! Like this video right now because I got this human and a dog to be in a video with me. Oh my god. So this week on My First Year on Tea is guest week, so I brought my lovely, beautiful partner, Mara. She's, look at her. Wow. That's me. So yes, uh, this week we're going to do something fun and easy because I'm terrible at coming up with video ideas, so I decided that we should do the gender tag. Couple edition. How do you self-identify your gender, and what does that definition mean to you? I identify my gender as transmasculine, non-binary, there's animals everywhere. And to me, that means that there were a spectrum between uh, male and female. I would fall much closer to the male end than not. I identify as female, and that's what I was assigned at birth, so there's really nothing exactly <laughs> exciting about that. What does that mean to you? I'm very proud to be a woman. I, I don't want to really be anything else. I what pronouns honor you? <clears throat> uh, I like he, him, or they, them pronouns. Either one is fine with me. I am. She, her, they, them is also fine with me, not necessarily because I fall under any non-binary sort of gender, just because I feel like those pronouns can honor Most anyone. Most people. You know? Not that I would specifically want someone to call me that, but I would not be upset if someone greeted me that way. Describe the style of clothing that you most often wear. I did a whole video on this, so if you want to check out my, uh, I don't remember what I call it, transmasculine style tips video, that's over there. I'll put a card. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> I wear either a lot of black or a lot of pink, um, always sparkles, and a lot of gold. I really like jewelry. <laughs> Number four, talk about your choices with body hair. How do you style your hair? Do you have facial hair? What do you choose to shave or choose not to shave? I style my hair by blow drying it this way and then putting a bunch of product in it and it turns into this flop because it's already straight, so it's not that hard. Um, <clears throat> I have facial hair and I shave it because I don't appreciate it. And now, apparently, that I'm almost three months on tea, it's growing in within like two days. And I, <laughs> this just happened. Last night? I shaved last night and I can already see it. And I shave my face and that's it. This is actually not how I typically style my hair. This is the first time I've had it straight in a very long time. Um, my hair is naturally really curly. Well, not really curly. It's, it's big. <laughs> um, and last year, January of last year, I got a pixie cut, and my hair was about to here before, and I super hated it, super not comfortable with it, and this is the longest my hair has been since then, and it's been a pretty ongoing struggle. I usually wave it, like with a flat iron or like a big curling iron, and I still do the top knot, or it's just all up in a bun or a ponytail. Um, I do the half up because my top layers for my pixie cut are still only to about here. So if you guys watch Stranger Things, Steve's haircut <laughs> is pretty close to what I have going on, but luckily top knots are like the thing right now. Thanks, Kardashians. I grow two to three chin hairs <laughs> that are <laughs> pretty apparent. So other than that, no facial hair. I shave my mustache. I'm a cosmetologist, so let's pretend that I don't shave my mustache. Pretend that I wax it, but I don't. I choose to shave everything if I feel like it. I don't mind body hair on a partner or on my friends or on someone passing down the street. But on me specifically, I like to feel like a little baby dolphin. I just choose to be hairless, but being in a committed relationship and living with your partner for as long as we have, there's not a lot of pressure. <laughs> Talk about cosmetics. Do you choose to wear makeup? Do you paint your nails? What type of soaps and perfumes do you use, if any? Please don't go in depth. <laughs> do, okay. I mean. Uh, I wear, the extent of my makeup is, um, I will put Anastasia brow, I, Anastasia brow gel in my, I was just gonna say eyebrow gel. 
And it basically looks like a mascara thing, and I go like this. It's brown mascara. It's brown mascara. But like a gel. In the shade Espresso, specifically, it used to be mine, but I handed it off. I wear like mm -hmm. random, stop it, <laughs> random men's deodorant. I use like unscented lotion. Do you paint your nails? No, I don't paint my nails. Mm -hmm. I don't like, for some reason I am interested mm -hmm. in cosmetology type things, but when it's on me, I like feel weird about it. Um, and then I have, I do like a facial skin care routine sort of thing, but it's just a face wash at night and then I moisturize mm -hmm. and then I rinse my face in the morning. Yes. That's it. Oh, and I have like acne cream that I put on bumps. I wear a lot of makeup. Um, it's kind of my job. I still feel like when I go to work in the beauty industry, I should have a full face on and do my hair. And some people in the beauty industry don't feel like they need to do that, and that's fine, but this is just my personal choice. I wear makeup <laughs> every day, Dog. other than my days off. Um, and even then, sometimes I do, but it's usually like tinted moisturizer or mascara. Um, do you paint your nails? I don't paint them, but I get them done. Um, I have acrylic. These are like a new set. I got it done a couple of days ago. I go every two weeks and get them filled. Have you experienced being misgendered? If so, how often? Yes, I get misgendered like every day. I get misgendered every day. If I'm out of the house, I'm getting misgendered. And most of the time it's because when I go to work, I'm still not out at work, even though I said in a previous video that I was gonna work on that, but um, I'm having top surgery, and so I felt weird about coming out because I found out that I had, was having top surgery. I felt weird about coming out and then immediately going out for two, two weeks for surgery because I felt like that would like reveal too much about me. But anyways, at work I get misgendered all the time and when I'm out I get misgendered probably, if someone is talking to me, probably 60% of them. Which time. blows my mind and I still don't understand. Would you say that's right? Like, more than half, but not quite yeah. all the... Well, if someone is addressing me, it's most of the time. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I talk, yeah. they'll then gender me after I've spoken. Okay, do you experience being misgendered? Um, not in person. I have been misgendered over the phone a lot. Um, usually mistaken for, like, a prepubescent boy is typically what happens. They'll be like, hey son, is your mom home? The only time I've been misgendered in person is I had really, really long red hair, but like faded, nasty red hair, and I had it in like a low ponytail back here, not with a bun on. I had no makeup on whatsoever. And I was at a gas station, I was pumping gas, and someone thought I was a man from the back because I don't have a very round butt. And then when I cut my hair short into a pixie cut, this last go round, um, I got misgendered a couple of times, uh, just at stores and stuff, just from, again, the back. Um, and I completely forgot as I was talking about this, it would happen a lot when I was in my early teens. I wore not the most feminine presenting clothing, and it would happen a lot then, but I didn't really care. I didn't mind then. I mind now. Next question is, have you ever experienced dysphoria? How does that affect you? Yes. <laughs> I'm realizing that this video is going on way too long, so if uh, you want to see part two of this video, that was all for part one. AKA more of me. <laughs> <laughs> more of her. Uh, I'll probably post the second part midway through next week. Um, so Next week? Then you'll get a bonus video from me next week. So, um, if you want to see part two, make sure you like and subscribe. And you'll see us sometime next week. Okay, see you next week. Bye.